Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering a project called Everscale. Basically, Everscale is a unique blockchain design that proposes a scalable decentralized world computer paired with a distributed operating system, EverOS. So first of all, and as always, if you're interested in this project and want to invest, I suggest reading the white paper doing your research and joining their social media groups like Telegram and Twitter, especially Telegram that's where all the talking goes on. Also, I'll put the links below that'll take you to this website, so you can come here and do your own research. As always, please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor and crypto projects can be highly unpredictable, so as I always suggest, never invest more than you're willing to lose. With that in mind, let's dive in. So at the beginning of the page, we can see a sentence that introduces us to what Everscale is. As it says Everscale, Scalability happens here, your solution on the most scalable blockchain network, Everscale. And under the text, there is a build and explore the docs buttons. So if you want to see more information about this project, go ahead and go through it. So since there is not much information on this page itself, let's take a look at white paper together. So on this page, keep in mind that we are only going to cover a couple of things, we are not going to cover them all, since I want to save your time. All other things you can go and read by yourself. So with that being said, let's start with the white paper. As you can see, there are a lot of things here in my opinion, I will consider only the most important ones. Now let's start with welcome page. As it says, Everscale is a unique blockchain design that proposes a scalable decentralized world computer paired with a distributed operating system, EverOS. EverOS is capable of processing millions of transactions per second with Turing complete smart contracts and decentralized user interfaces. Everscale presents some new and unique properties, such as dynamic multithreading, soft majority consensus, and distributed programming, which enable it to be scalable, fast, and secure at the same time. It is governed by a decentralized community founded upon meritocratic principles via soft majority voting protocol. Now, if we move on to learn here is more information about Everscale overview. So as it says, Everscale is one of the most advanced blockchain networks that lets users transfer digital assets to anyone for a small fee. It also powers numerous leading applications that everyone can take advantage of. The blockchain was created on the basis of the initial code of the Telegram open network blockchain designed by Nikolay Durov. Fundamentally, Everscale blockchain is constructed in accordance with this TO in white paper. Despite the fact that Everscale builds on T. Owen's innovation, there are, however, some big advancements deployed by network developers in order to address the fundamental issues faced by most blockchains. Everscale constantly works on implementing the most secure solutions to achieve maximum scalability. The main solution that permits Everscale to offer one of the highest transaction per second rates available among currently operating blockchains is sharding. So generally speaking, sharding is a method for distributing data across multiple machines. This makes it a scaling technique and can be used by blockchain networks to partition states in transaction processing so that each node of the network would only need to process a fraction of all the transactions. Moreover, sharding allows for the parallel processing of transactions. As long as there is a sufficient number of nodes verifying each transaction, ensuring high reliability and security, then splitting a blockchain into shards will allow it to process far more transactions. Now let's move to frequently asked questions. Again, I will only read a couple of questions, so if you are interested in knowing something more, go to this page and read it yourself. So let's start with why Everscale? As it says, it is important to understand that Everscale, unlike many other new networks, does not aim to create a second Ethereum. Even at the design stage, Everscale took into account the errors and shortcomings of the Ethereum architecture thanks to which Everscale is now a truly unique blockchain. 
Next up, we have Everscale Blockchain Explorer. So Blockchain Explorer is a tool that allows you to track and view blocks, messages, transactions, and other information contained in the network. Moving on to how does Everscale work? To understand the basic principles and mechanisms of Everscale, we recommend that you familiarize yourself with the following sections of the documentation. Architecture section, decentralization section, smart contract section, introduction, DevOps, standard section. And let's finish it up with what is Ever. Ever is the native coin of Everscale blockchain, unique blockchain design that proposes a scalable decentralized world computer paired with a distributed operating system. Ever is the token that captures the value of all community-sponsored projects, therefore optimized for a value capturing. It also used for network usage fee payments. It has a max supply of 2 billion Ever coins. So I think I'll end everything here. This page contains an endless amount of information, which I probably spent the whole day reading, so I won't waste your time any further. And if I have really interested you, read everything and find out for yourself. If you have any questions regarding the project, I highly suggest you join them on socials, then go in there and ask the question. I am sure an admin will answer you, or someone in the community will help answer your questions. That's the best way to do it. Don't just guess if you have any questions that you want answer, just ask them. This is the reason why they have a telegram and a community so that you can get involved. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you in this video. I'll put the links down below in the description if you want to check this out by yourself. Again, always do your own research and remember that I am not a financial advisor. Please keep this in mind and don't invest more than you are willing to lose. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.